All right, we're back at Scarborough Shorts, chasing 900. Let's see if we can get it this time. Spin it. All right, DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and we're back at Scarborough playing the shorts. Second go round of Chasing 900 here. If you haven't seen the last round here of Chasing 900, you're probably not miss missing much, but I'll link it up here and down in the description. Uh, I did not hit the line. So I took the PDGA rating from the last tournament that was held here, the Scarborough Scorcher. And in the last video, I got a comment that said that they played all 20 holes instead of the 18. So that's why the line was 56 for 900. For 18 holes, the line should be 51 for 900 rated rounds. So three under. The par here is 54. So three under is the line I'm shooting for today. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, you all know this hole. Hole one, 303 feet, elevated basket. Um, OB to the left up there past the pillars. Uh, I was going to throw my Mockingbird, but now I feel a headwind here. So I think I'm going to change. We'll throw the Mad Cat. See how far up we can get. Woo! All right, probably like a 30 footer. Let's go get it. All right, got my new foundation mini. Got this at foundation when I was down there visiting Josh. All right, 27 footer here. Let's see if we can get it. Nope, short. Dang on it. All right, stay. We'll tap that in for par. Do it with a bag on. Or no bag on. All right, bag on. On to hole two. All right, hole number two, 219 feet straight ahead. OB to the left in the water, but they have a nice log up there that blocks you. I'm gonna throw my Dillo here. Just don't baby it. Well, I didn't baby it, that's for sure. I didn't hear water, so let's go see. All right. This is not a good start. All right, so I did go OB, which is unfortunate. Let's see if I can sort of run it, see if I can Plop it in for the par, at least. Oh, so close. All right. We're fighting through a bogey on hole two. Not a good start. All right, one over through two. Gonna have to start fighting. Let's go to three. All right, hole number three, 166 feet. Straight ahead. Headwind. It's windy today gonna make it difficult but not impossible just straight up through the gap here oh, square on that tree all right let's go all right like I was saying before I got my foundation mini at foundation when I went down to spend the day with Josh get my lesson and play around with him and Mikey and the triad was there. So Hunter, Connor, and Trevor were all there. But they were running out the door, had stuff in their hands, so I didn't want to bother them. But next time I'm down, hopefully I'll get to talk to them a little bit. Okay. Oh. So the front nine is where you want to score your birdies, and I'm not doing well right now. So let's just try to get up there for the par at least. Good. Hit the pole. I'll take that. Let's go. All right, 
in for the par. Still one over through three. Got to get the next two. Got to get the next two. Hole four, 175 feet straight out in the open. A little uphill. So it probably plays around 200 or so. Throw my blue bonnet. I got to get this one. So just smooth it up there. Give myself a look. Skip. Ooh, it's a long putt, but it's a putt. All right, it slid up more than I thought. So relatively easy. Birdie. <laughs> Maybe I should wait to say that after I putt. <laughs> All right, on to hole five. Let's see if we can keep it up. All right, hole number five, 201 feet. If you watched my last round, you'll recognize this hole as my ace hole. So the basket is right over the hill at the edge of those woods, like right around in here. I'm gonna throw my blue bonnet. My wife reminded me I did not warm up. Take my practice swing. Last hole, so we'll do that. And get ready. Get down, get down. Whoo, long putt, long putt, okay. All right, uh, I think we're just inside circle here, probably about 25 feet or so, maybe 27. Concentrate a little more, take my time a little more so I don't rush. Yeah, but that was a bad putt. It sounded better than it was. <laughs> All right, take the par and move on. Even through five. Not great, but not the end of the world. Let's go. All right, hole number six, 285 feet straight out in the open. It's uphill, so it plays a little longer than 285, maybe 300, 305. Little tailwind, gonna throw my bayonet here. Skip. Good distance, just far to the right. Wow. Okay, here we go. All right, great distance. Pin high, almost. Maybe like four feet shy of pin high. But 40 feet, 45 feet to the right. So, do I run this is the question. I'm chasing 900. In a tournament, would I run this? Would you run it? Uh, stop. Okay, that was that was a quasi bid. That was a semi fake bid. That almost that almost worked. So hopefully I can make that for the par. All right, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, never take these for granted. Because as soon as you do, you will miss it. I don't care who you are. I saw... Who was it? Was it Kyle? Oh, no. It was Nicholas Antilla in his win. Oh, no. Was it Nicholas? One of them. Ten-footer. Just rimmed it. Couldn't believe it. So, take your time. Take your ten-footer seriously. That was a public service announcement. All right. Hole number seven, 304 feet straight ahead out in the open. I, it looks like to me that they pulled the basket. So it might not be 300 feet anymore. Uh, they did a lot of work. The, Harbor, the Harford County Disc Golf Club came out this past weekend, did a lot of work. Looks really good. Planting trees and flowers and fixing the tee pads up, painting stuff. Looks great. Anyway, throw my Mad Cat here. Let's try to get close to the pin. Low, skip, slide. That might be like a 35 footer maybe. All right, so the basket is not closer. It's just an optical illusion with all the other stuff in place. It just looks closer to me. Nice little headwind here. A 45 footer, not a 35 footer. Didn't slide as much as I wanted it to.
All right. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, that's one under? Two under. No, one under. Yeah, one under. One under. On to hole eight. Hole eight, 201 feet. Up into the woods through there. I don't know if you can see it from there or not. I'm going to throw my uh, Artemis. Tailwind kicking up. <sighs> Get around. Slide up. Should be close. Should be close. All right. Not a bad drive. In for the birdie. It's two under. Let's go to the last hole. Well, the last hole for this video. See you there. All right, 212 feet. Sorry, the sun on this hole is always bad for filming this time of day. 212 feet straight out ahead. Again, to me, this looks more open than the last time I was here. I doubt they took a tree down, but maybe it's just all the beautification that they did. All right, uh, throw my Dillo here. Hopefully just straight up the gut. No, that's not good. Now we're scrambling for par. This is not ideal. <laughs> I have no line here. Maybe just try to flex forehand something out there. Try to scramble up. This wind is, I don't know if you can hear it in the mic or not. All right, let's flex it through that gap there. Nope. Okay. That was a tough one. I didn't have much room. So, it's going to be a bogey. Uh-oh. Two bogeys again. This course is getting me. The past three times I've been here, this course has got my number. All right. That'll do for the bogey. Let's go. All right, there you have it, front nine for Chasing 900 at Scarborough Shirts. Again, I think we're one under, which if you watched me here before, the front nine is where you can score. So one under, not great. Have a lot of work to do on the back to get my three under. Not out of the realm of possibility, just harder. So I'm back, see if we can do it. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.